This uh, stems from a student question. Uh, the question was, how could I do this efficiently on my calculator? Using, um, you know, we've talked about being able to store values in X, you know, like five gets stored in X. Um, and that's a, that's a really powerful skill for us. Um, one thing I want to point out, we won't need to do this, but you don't just need that. You, do, you don't just have X as a variable. Notice on the board it says A, B, C, D, E. Like if I hit the alpha key, this will give me J. I could let J equal something. I could let K equal something. So if I need multiple variables, you know, I've got the whole alphabet to use for variables as well. But before we jump into a shortcut, let's, let's take a look at this. Um, F of X is 8 natural log of X. And we know that um, X sub 1 is 7. So like this part right here is a 7. And this part right here is 7 plugged into 8 natural log of 1. Make this thin, pen a little thinner. So I know that I could think of this as my, this will always be minus 7. And this will always be minus 8 natural log of 7. And now what's going to happen is we're going to do this for different um, x sub 2 values. And so what I could think of as this, I'll just call this x, like it's x sub 2, but I'll just let x stand for it. And notice that um, for this, I actually won't need to calculate this over and over again. I can just say 8 natural log of whatever x is. So again, these are values that are known with 7, so I just put 7 in. And these are just going to be calculated off of x. So for example, the first on the first example, x is 12. So I'm going to let x equal 12 on my calculator. get stored in X and then I'm just going to enter this in and I have to be kind of careful with my parentheses like I'm going to need the whole numerator in parentheses and then the denominator in parentheses so here's what I mean so it's going to be 8 uh, natural log of X close off the parentheses for natural log minus um, 8 natural log of 7 close off the parentheses for natural log and I'm going to close off the parentheses for the numerator so that whole thing is divided by x minus 7. And this denominator, I'm going to have to put it in parentheses as well. x minus 7 like this. Like if I didn't have the parentheses here, it would only divide it by x and then subtract 7. I want it to go x minus 7 and then that. So notice x is equal to 12. So this, this x sub 2 is 12. And then boom, and it spits out my, my answer. So then if I want to check it for 9, well, how about I let 9 get stored in x? And remember the stacks command. So second enter is the last thing you entered. Second enter is the thing before that you entered. Same formula, but a different x value. Boom, 1.053. And you could just get through them this way. So setting it up like this saves you a lot of, uh, of calculation time.